have our friend Dave Burnt here from the Oshkosh Area Community Band to tell us all about their summer plans that they have coming up. And let me tell you, it's a very busy summer. So Dave, without further ado, welcome to Oshkosh Today. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. And we, we tend to have you on a, a couple times a year to talk about uh, the different concerts that we have coming up. And summer is a very busy time for the community band. Is that correct? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Every other week we have a concert. <sighs> Gosh, so probably very busy rehearsing and getting and then, ready yeah, right and now. then a, rehear a rehearsal every week, so that wow. keeps the very busy summer. For for those of us who don't know, maybe you can give us a little background on on the Oshkosh Area Community Band. What exactly is it all about? The Oshkosh Area Community Band has um, been around. We'll be celebrating our thirtieth anniversary year this next year. This wow. April first, twenty seventeen, is our big anniversary concert, mm -hmm. which we have a lot of um, a lot of. Uh, festive plans for so that be good one to m mark on your calendar now. Mm -hmm. um, the community band is is was formed with the intent of of providing uh, an outlet for for um, people to play when they're finished with their schooling. I mean, basically through high school. When you're done with high school, you've had you we taught we taught you how to play in school, and then when you get to the end. Now what? Then what? Yeah. Yes. So this is a, this was that's the reason it was formed and, and um, wonderful. So anyone that's post high school, it's aimed at. Although in summertime, we we also invite um, high school players to come in and play with us. Kind of keep their skills sharp on the summertime. Right. Yeah. Right. Very cool. So mm. it's a great opportunity for musicians who might have not had opportunities after high school to keep on playing their instruments and still kind of be a part of that band experience. Um, so we're here to talk about summer, and we've got a lot of concerts to talk about. Maybe you can first tell us where your first concert is and, and when. When, it, when are we kicking it off here? The first concert is in, at, at the King Veterans Home, and it's um, June 12th, I believe that is, Sunday, June 12th at 1.30. Okay. Wow. And so if, you, if you're in the King area, you're certainly welcome to, to join us there. The, the, uh, all our concerts are, are without cost and without tickets, so you just need to come Great. Come and join us. There. So first one's at King Veterans Home. Any certain kinds of music that you're going to be playing at that concert? Well, considering it's a veterans home, then we will we'll, um, be sure and, and do um, service music. You can expect to hear um, like the service um, marches mm -hmm. and, and a some patriotic, patriotic stuff. Songs. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Definitely. So that'll be a very special concert, and I know the people at the the veterans' home really love love and look forward to that as a great little entertainment. So um, definitely looking forward to that. Other concerts that are going to be happening in the summer series. I know you've got one coming up at the Grand Opera House. Right. Um, the Grand Opera House. We have the first the first Wednesday. We get on a, uh, a schedule of every other Wednesday. Okay. And the first one that. Um, conflicts with the Miss Wisconsin pageant because they be when they come into the to the auditorium they really take it over and they and they uh, you know you'll see with the sets it, they really transform the place so um, um, it works out well that we can go to the Grand and uh, the Grand is a wonderful spot to play in a wonderful um, theater and uh, it's always a treat to play there. So that's that'll be our first concert. Wonderful. And then after that, you've got some concerts over at Alberta Kimball. Right. And yeah. So then every other every other Wednesday from then on through through the end of July, okay. we'll be at the Alberta Kimball. Other time. What's the admission for any of your concerts for people who are going to be planning to come? Zero. There are Zero always Zero dollars. Free. Yes. Wonderful. Due to the gracious uh, support of. Of many people from the community, so. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that it's uh, you know donations are very much appreciated. Whether oh, yes. you want to yes, do yes. that through. Yes, there will be a there will be um, a, a free will basket donation donation baskets available at every concert, I believe. Yes, so. yes, because I mean I think a lot of people don't realize how much the the music costs. Oh yes. Um, oh. And so of course that's something that if you're if you're looking to support by all means that's a great way to do that is. Um, to donate and help you guys get some new music. Yes, um, I've been um, su pleasantly surprised that we can still do it for for free, you know, mm -hmm. because and that's totally because of the generous support of the our patrons. I guess. Definitely, <sighs> and it's all the more reason. It's just kind of backs the whole idea of a community band. That's what you are. That's mm -hmm. what you're here for. Is our wonderful community. So it's just a great opportunity for anyone who wants to come and see you guys play and witness the awesome talent that you have. As we just heard, we, we heard a little bit of a sample of one of your concerts just then. 
So what kind of songs, any, any kind of previews that you can give us or little teasers? Um, well, each concert will feature, a, a, will have a feature section usually. So some th I think it's the trumpets one time, it's the clarinets one time. And I believe, I'm happy to say it's the trombones two times, if <gasps> I read my schedule right. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So, so each, each time a different instrument will be highlighted. Right. Very yeah. cool. And then, then there's the usual mix of um, marches and patriotic numbers and show tunes and, and novelty numbers and things. So a lot of variety to it's look good forward mix. to. Yeah. Good, good. Right. And we got to talk about the Oshkosh Fourth of July Parade. Are you looking forward to that? Okay. You'll be in that parade? Yes. Yep. That'll be, um, uh, when is that now? The Fourth of July? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I uh, can't remember when it was. Yeah. <laughs> and so th th I think this is their 25th um, um, anniversary of mm -hmm. that parade. And I think the, the Oshkosh Community Band has been in all of them. Wonderful. And that's always a great thing to look forward to as you're watching the parade. You can always, you see the, oh, there's the community band. What are they playing this year? It's oh, really yeah. cool. So Right. And we'll uh, be playing some, some. Um, I think it's the Song of the Seabees and Heave Ho, My Lad or something. It'll, 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 they're, they're a little more obscure, yeah. but they're still stirring. And good, <laughs> fun good. To play. <laughs> something a little so, different than, yeah. you know, the, the typical. Um, we've got a children's concert on July 29th. What's um, special about that concert compared to a different, uh, you know, your typical concert? Um, they will will aim a couple of numbers at the children, mm -hmm. and we also have the the main feature of that is that we have a, a conducting contest, oh, and so the the children come up and we take all comers and we give them a brief lesson, a very brief lesson, and then. They're on their own. They connect the band, and then we have some judges, which I would not want to be. <laughs> and then they, we, we come up with, a, I think it's three winners. Okay. How so, fun is that? Yeah, it's What very a great fun. way to kind of get them involved in the show, right. too. Uh, yeah. We got about a minute left, and um, where can we find more information about the Oshkosh Area Community Band, whether we're looking to join or we want concert dates or anything? Okay. Um, you can, um, we're on Facebook. And that's all I'll say about that because I'm <laughs> I'm not on Facebook. And then we're at uh, the website is www.oacb.org. Okay, wonderful. And, and that's where you can get all of our information. And yes, you are on Facebook. I do subscribe yeah. to your page, so a lot of great updates on there about different things that might be changing or things that we can look forward to on the concerts. And I, I believe you'll be conducting a few pieces this year too. So as you prepare for that, I gotta say good luck. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, well Dave, thank you so much for stopping in today and telling us all about your summer series. We're really looking forward to a summer full of wonderful music from the Oshkosh Area Community Band. Thank you very much, it's my pleasure. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. and Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. Set design provided by House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard. Oshkosh Today, 